Lots of people ask what the next product lineup will be for Apple. What's going to expand this ecosystem even further? I'm pretty sure it's going to be augmented reality hardware that is Apple Glass. Apple has obviously shown interest in augmented reality. You've seen all kinds of apps people have been making with AR kits. They work really, really well, and it's cool to see the app library expand to become more functional with augmented reality features that involve tracking surroundings, being able to project things even behind things in real space. And I think what we're seeing on the App Store with our iPhones is just the foreshadow of what may be possible in years to come when Apple is actually capable of storing all this tech into a way of visualizing it on your your own vision. This has already been experimented with, of course, with Google Glass and Microsoft HoloLens. And the idea of glasses being, you know, smart tech is not that far-fetched, but it's definitely not done by Apple yet. And usually when Apple enters a market, that's when it becomes official, that's when it becomes a real thing. So I had this interesting chat in the Discord recently with some of my fans. Will augmented reality glasses be capable of replacing the iPhone? And I just want to come straight out the door and say, no, that's not going to happen. I know lots of people want to see a new product lineup actually challenge the smartphone and make the smartphone obsolete. But I think it's very, very genius, and I think there's too many things a smartphone is good at that smart glasses could never really replace. And I'm not trying to say that smart glasses won't be functional. I've talked about them lots of times on this channel about how I think they're actually going to change the process of how we interact with our devices on quite a massive scale. But no, they are not meant to be their own standalone product. Here's why. Well, yes, I do think there will be cameras and eye tracking sensors on Apple Glass. That's the running name for it now. I don't think those cameras will be specialized to take really good photos. First of all, cameras take up a lot of battery. And whenever this first generation of Apple Glass comes out, battery is going to be a major problem because glasses, if Apple is interested in selling them, have to be light, they have to be fashionable, they have to be easy for people to wear. And in order to make glasses that are comfortable and not that heavy, you gotta make them small, which means that battery life is something they're gonna have very little of. So all the processors in it, all of the cameras and all the sensors in it are probably going to be extra, extra low power. Power, unlike that on your iPhone. So no matter how good the cameras are in your smart glasses, they'll never be better than the camera you already have in your pocket. So there's one thing out the door. Second of all, practicality. Have you ever heard of the selfie? People like taking them. Have you heard of Snapchat? Have you heard of Instagram? Have you heard of Skype and FaceTime? These are all very common things we use our smartphones for. And with glasses, this simply isn't possible because you are not interacting with the device. You are now wearing it. It is projecting over your vision. Some people have pitched the idea of taking the glasses off and then having a camera on that and holding it around and pointing it at yourself. But then you can't really see the photo you're taking. You can't see if the people in the picture are really in the picture. You can't see what the lighting is. It's just not practical. So first off, that's another reason why AR glasses can't really replace a smartphone. Second of all is that Apple Glass really should not have much of a user interface. Google Glass had a handful of problems, but one that they weren't considering was the social aspect. And I think that's a big problem that the Microsoft HoloLens is going to run into and probably has run into to already. It's the reason it's not really going into the mainstream audiences. And you know, Apple Glass will likely be trying to go to the mainstream audiences. Interacting with nothing is very hard to socially accept for people. Back when they first outlawed talking on the phone while driving, everyone thought that Bluetooth headsets were going to be the next big thing. Everyone was going to talk on the phone hands-free. They weren't going to hold the phone up to their ear. They're just going to have that little chip in their ear and that's how they were going to talk. They were just going to communicate all the time. But people found that when using those, it was kind of bizarre to be in public just talking to yourself and most people when they see that aren't very comfortable with it where for some reason when you have this little device up to your ear people can understand you are interacting with a device you are talking to something and therefore it's not as socially awkward i also think it's far more reasonable that someone could be sitting at a bench or in a public place and just be scrolling on their phone opposed to trying to scroll on their augmented reality web pages whether they be moving it with gestures which by the way takes a lot more motion on your end because you're moving around your arms or if you're tracking with your eyes you can't really deter too much of what you're scrolling from. Whereas, you know, scrolling through Twitter or your newsfeed or your email is very simple. You're just using one finger on a smartphone. With glasses, you could do it on the side like Google Glass did, but that, again, is socially kind of awkward because you're not really sure where to look. Imagine seeing people in coffee shops and just kind of staring off into blank space scrolling. They won't be as comfortable with that as they are with just using a laptop, a tablet, or, of course, a smartphone. The next big problem with trying to actually replace your smartphone with augmented reality glasses 
glasses is we kind of like to show others what we have found on our phone or what our phone can do. Like for instance, if I found a picture or a funny article or whatever that I want to show to my friend, I can simply turn my phone and then you see it. Whereas with augmented reality glasses, if I found something I wanted to show, I would have to take the glasses off or find a way to wirelessly send it to their phone, which is definitely just not as simple as a basic little here, look at this. Like if I want to watch a video with my friend I just found, I can just hold the phone up and we can both be watching it at the same time. There's something too simple and easy to understand about a smartphone. I don't think that AR glasses have the capability to replace it. As much as people are interested in that idea, the idea of a pair of smart glasses coming into the market and then making your iPhone obsolete and then you can do everything from the glasses, I don't think that's going to happen. I think the amount of changes we're going to see in smartphones may go down as all smartphone companies are quickly running out of ideas of what features to add. You can only make phone processor chips so fast and the faster and faster they get, you know, does it matter how fast Twitter opens? And of course, no matter how good battery technology gets so that you can have a fairly decent battery life on your Apple Glass, whatever battery you have in your pocket is always going to last better. They have more room to work with in these things. 60% of your iPhone does not have to be transparent or a holographic display. This doesn't have to track your eyes that much unless we're talking face ID, but even that, it's not constant, whereas with augmented reality, it would be pretty constantly. And I think that's the reason you have not seen Apple Glass been revealed by Apple yet. They're definitely very interested in it. We can see that with the development of AR Kit, but it's not yet ready in terms of hardware to be something we could put on because for Apple to make something that would be practical and useful and support all of their AR features, it would likely look a lot like the Microsoft HoloLens. It would be bulky and awkward and they don't want to sell that because they know no one would buy it. Apple really hit the nail hard with the Apple Watch. You know, they got something that looks good and works good and it can last for a very, very long time. And I think that if they can figure that out on augmented reality glasses, which I can already imagine the endless amount of features you could have, like 3D holograms popping up off your watch and having complications that appear on the side of your arm, not just on the screen itself. Or if you wanted to open your MacBook and then suddenly add more displays to it so you can expand Mac OS while there's not really monitors there. Of course, the possibilities for what augmented reality can do are endless. And I'd love to hear some of your ideas in the comments below. But I still think that like the Apple Watch, Apple Glass will be an accessory to your iPhone. I'm guessing that most of the processing power will be left to your iPhone and as wireless data transfer and wireless computing gets better and better, we'll be able to store the W3 or W4 chip in Apple Glass. And most of the processing power that the Apple Glass relies on will be done on the iPhone, at least for the first generation. Maybe in more years down the road, it'll figure out how to be more and more independent, but I could never really see Apple Glass being a standalone, doesn't need an iPhone at all kind of product. It'll likely cost a lot more money given that things like Google Glass cost $1,800 and HoloLens cost three grand. Apple Glass, if it's going to be thin, light, and functional, likely gonna be costing $2,000 to $3,000. So not something for everyone. But of course, I'm really excited to see it, but I wouldn't expect to see one even next year, maybe 2019. Of course, let me know all your ideas for Apple Glass in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.